Welcome to the man cave today on this one anyway it's all about the feet no nope, not boots not those guys but these guys You're trying to add feet uh, for going off-road, soft asphalt and stuff. So I've got a couple for the 690, uh, the 2019, and I've got this one I have been using on my 2015, and I thought I would do a comparison. So first of all, to start with, you'll notice that I've got this little angle uh, right here where it appears is sitting right at maybe 16 degrees. There's some parallax air going on there. That's what the bike normally leans out with the feet. Um, let's look at this one. So right now I'm resting right at uh, 15. Yeah, a little bit less, maybe 14 and a half degrees. Uh, why is this important? And this is with the stock foot, all right? So write that down. So here's the important part. When you get off, when you're sitting on your bike, right? And you, you lift up the bike, you, you get, and you wanna then swing this kicks down the way even though it appears right now it's vertical. So when you when you bring your foot in, you see how it hits? There it goes to the bottom of the arc and you have to keep leaning it over a little bit more. And then before, then you can lean it back over. So if you're on the trail, sometimes you have to lean it over a little bit farther than you would like to pass vertical. So just for grins, I'm gonna bring it right to where I think it's at its apex can see it's at seven degrees all right now that's not so bad um, when you have a 50 pound dog on your bike sometimes it becomes an issue all right so here we're back at that five degrees let's just take a look at this and I'm gonna Lift it up like I'm standing on it until I swing it past the arc. Right there, it's about at its max. And you can see we're at we're about two degrees. So you have to bring this one almost two degrees to vertical in order to get the kickstand up on the 2019 690. Now when I, but you notice there's no nothing on there right now. When I've got the dog on board, you know, the amount of weight with him leaning over and I'm trying to lean over, trying to get the kickstand up, uh, it can, I have always feel like I'm about ready to fall on my butt on the other side. So I'm gonna mount these two feet and we'll see what they do. This is uh, the Venacci seat uh, foot and um, and it's it's a nice product looks pretty nice it fits 
This foot, by the way, is the same foot that's on the 1190 and the 790, as well as the 2019 690. We'll do the Vinacci one first, and then we do the... Uh, Okay, because this ed this edge right here is the part that's uh, on the stock um, side stand. When it does its swing, right, would normally apex about here. Since there's more meat over here, this you're going to have to lean the bike over farther. Now we're resting right at it's like 12 degrees. Uh, with the stand on it, that's where it's normally going to sit. And then I'm going to bring this over this way. You'll see it's it's hitting here, hitting there, hitting there, hitting there. I keep leaning the bike over, the bike over some more, the bike over some more, the bike over some more, the bike over some more. Right, right about there. Looks like about eight degrees. Lift it up. I'm starting to swing it. Okay, I'm now going past center. And right about there. So I actually have to go one degree past center in order to clear this particular foot. So that's about nine degrees. All right, that's all total. But it's the past center part that bothers me. Um, well, I thought maybe it might slide off. Lean the bike up. Take the weight off the bike a little bit to tighten down the fasteners. There you go. Okay. Almost 10 to Yeah, it's right right a little bit over 10 degrees. So this one is thicker. We got some wind going on here. All right, so now I'm going to start leaning it over as I'm moving the kickstand, the side stand. Right about there. So it's also about one degree. So So here's my conclusion. If you don't want to lean it over to the right and you're always going to be on concrete or some solid surface and you don't need a wider footprint for the ground, then you could use a stock foot. Um, and that gives you the least amount, in le amount of lean to the right to free it up. However, um, if, when you do use the extra feet, keep in mind you're going to have to go a little bit beyond center and uh, to to get the side sand up which is about one degree over equilibrium so if you're really weighted high uh, you got a big load up here then that's going to help one to make it feel less uh, stable when you're going to put your side sand up back to the kickstand um, this is um, what I failed to mention is that on the lifting up the side stand, I did it statically, and and on Ron Sutton reminded me, he gave me some numbers on what his bike takes to lift it up, which you'll see put on the screen. And, um, uh, but with this bike static, I gave you a certain number of degrees based upon this this indicator right here, right? So, but when you sit on it, sitting on it's going to remove the sag. So we need to do this with me sitting on it. So, 
I need to go to the section of the driveway that was at the same level that was before, so let me go ahead and move this. Okay, so now I've got it on the same section driveway that we had it before. And um, now I've got a tool kit and some other stuff going on in the saddlebags. The only thing that's missing is the dog food and my overnight clothes that I would normally carry. So let me get on this thing for right now. And then we'll try to figure out how to look at this indicator so we can duplicate the exact... Uh, a scenario from before so come on leg okay deacon come on up there you go all right so now we've got me i'm currently at 208 pounds deacon is sitting right about uh, uh 50 pounds what are you waiting deacon how much do you weigh deacon how much do you weigh? Two, three, four, five. Okay, that's 50 pounds. That's 10 pounds per lick. Um, all right, so the question really comes in is when I lift this up and I'm trying to get the foot to rotate it. See, it's still, I'm having to lean the bike over and meet with me and the dog. We're, we're tilting over right about there that's with the stock but from what i can gather it looks like it's a few degrees uh past equilibrium and that's with me moving the uh this kickstand back and forth so let me go let me go and put the uh uh the Venacci foot on there okay and we'll take a peek at that. Okay, Deacon's being very patient. This guy keeps getting blown over. Just so I'm uh, actually using this, it's got a magnet on the back. See that there? And I'm using that screw on my P-Run Moto Rack to uh, hold it in place. And we're making the assumption that the P-Run Moto Rack is, is flat to the rest of the bike. That seems to be the correct spot. Now let's go. I just need you to point the camera at this protractor so we can look and see what angle it is. Maybe you can tell me what the angle is by looking at it. It looks like eight, no, six. To the right hand side of the zero? Yes. Okay, six degrees. Okay, thank you. So, six degrees. Before we were one degree off, so it's another five degrees that you gotta lean over the center. So we're basically, I'm going tilting way over here to the right and it may not seem like much, but to me, I mean, I was barely, my right foot is kind of hanging on to the dog and, um, and also uh, try to keep from falling over while my left leg is, is uh, picking it up. So I'm not gonna bother with the, um, the other foot that I've got from Nomad ADB. I think it's uh, close, but not as drastic. So you get get an idea of, of the repercussions of if you decide to want to put a, uh, a foot on your side sand, in, in the sand. And if you're not on exact level ground, say you're kind of tilted over, you know how the crown of the, the road goes like this? If you're on the right hand side, um, that means you're leaning even that much farther to the right. and uh, 
uh, which makes it a little bit more difficult to get on or off the bike. Well, Deacon, I think you've served your purpose as a dead weight. Deacon, here. Oh, try it again. There you go. You can't move. Don't move. All right. All right. <laughs> hey, I really appreciate you guys. I'm starting to see some comments on my previous video on what I'm supposed to do with my 2015. So, um, it's interesting. One person said, keep the labels on it. All the stickers. All right, because we got all the KTM Rally stickers um, ever since we've been gone, since 2014. There's 2014, 2018, there's uh, 2017, we got all the Colorado passes, BDRs that I've done so far, um, veterans back 40, and um, anyway, <laughs> I've had a few mimosas, and it's our 38th wedding anniversary, 39th. We're on our 40th years of marriage, so and that's why I've got these scooters. So my bride and I, we can go car hopping together. So thanks a lot for watching. Uh, we'll figure out another video for later. We're gonna be heading to Mexico soon. Bye.